Apple's MacBook trackpads are legendary and they're often called the best that you can get in a laptop. But if you want the same smooth multi-touch experience using your computer plugged into a monitor, with a desktop Mac, or even with an iPad, then that's when you need the Apple Magic Trackpad. It gives the best in class trackpad feel to any desktop setup. So in this video, we're gonna take a close look at the Apple Magic Trackpad, talk about the features it has, how it works, who it's for, and if it's worth it for you to buy it. For the longest time, the trackpad used Lightning to be recharged, but they finally came out with a version that has a USB-C port on the top, which is great because now Apple has changed completely over to USB-C. So in the box, you do get one of their nice USB-C to USB-C braided cables, and you actually use this to recharge the trackpad, and you can use it to pair it with a computer as well. The trackpad is very responsive. The whole surface is touch sensitive. So think about the same exact experience you get with your MacBook Air or your MacBook Pro. You get that except for with the Bluetooth connectivity of this. So you can put it anywhere you want to in relation to your desktop setup. What I love about the Magic Trackpad is it's super tactile and there's also a ton of great gestures that are built in that allow you to do things like reveal your desktop or change between workspaces. There's also things like three finger drag, which makes it very easy to drag things from one folder to the next. So Apple's done a lot to make sure that the trackpad experience is very smooth and very fluid. The controls on this are very simple as well. There's no actual physical buttons on it except for the off on switch on the back. And if you turn it off and on really quick, that'll also activate the Bluetooth pairing mode. There's also the USB-C port on the back, which you can either use to pair this or to recharge it. So if we wanna set this up, this MacBook Air, all we have to do is just plug it in using the USB-C to USB-C cable and then it'll be wirelessly paired. Sometimes it gets a little bit dicey if you're going from using this with a computer to using an iPad. You have to unpair it from one device before you can pair it with another unless you use the cable. If you use it with the cable with your iPad, it's not gonna wirelessly pair it, it only hardwire pairs it. So I'm not sure what's going on with that, but that's how the Magic Trackpad works, which is definitely one of the big cons, is using this with multiple devices will require you to use a cable for the smoothest possible experience. The Magic Trackpad feels very natural to use, the whole surface is touch sensitive, so wherever you grab it, it's gonna work just fine. There's no dead zones on it. Another thing that's interesting is it has haptic feedback, so the click on it isn't actually mechanical. It's using a haptic engine to simulate a click feel. You can also get into your system preferences on Mac OS, and you can even make the clicking silent on it. And the clicking on this is very quiet, especially if you compare it to any other mouse or older trackpads as well. Another cool thing about this trackpad is you can enable the tap to click, which allows you to just tap the trackpad to register as a click instead of a physical press of one of the corners. You can also change what secondary click or right click is. The default on it is just tapping with two fingers or pressing with two fingers. You can also configure it to click in the bottom right or the bottom left hand corner as well if you want for the secondary click. The main draw to the Magic Trackpad is the multi-touch gestures. So you can do a bunch of different gestures that are all built into Mac OS. And there's things like scrolling using two fingers, or you can also swipe to the left and the right as well with your two fingers. That's also gonna be a great scroll. You can also use two fingers to zoom in and out of documents, photos, web pages, or documents. Or you can activate Smart Zoom by double tapping with two fingers and that'll zoom in on a web page, content, or PDFs, and then just double tap again to zoom out. Another thing that I love to do is I love to do full screen windows on Mac OS, and you can do three finger swipe to go back and forth between your full screen windows, which this is really nice for productivity purposes. You can also do things like activate mission control, or you can show your desktop just by spreading with your thumb and three fingers. There's other different gestures that are available as well, and I recommend going through the trackpad settings on Mac OS so you can see all the different gestures that are available. The Magic Trackpad is super touch sensitive and it's very accurate as well, and you can be very precise using this. I will say one thing I've noticed about it is, it sometimes takes a little bit of getting used to an ergonomic position with this. So you can rest your arm and kind of elevate your palm, and I found that to be the best way to use this for a long period of time. I also know there's a lot of people who love to use the Magic Trackpad and a mouse to the side of it so you can go back and forth depending on what you're doing because this is really gonna shine whenever you're doing web browsing or basic productivity tasks. It's very smooth and very fluid with Mac OS. And then you can change to something like the MX Master 3S for a more ergonomic and precise experience for things like editing videos. That being said, you can do anything with the Magic Trackpad and it's really up to you to figure out the best possible ergonomic setup and the way that you can use it in your workflow. The Magic Trackpad does have a built-in battery which is typically gonna last weeks to over a month and it's super easy to recharge it with the USB-C port and you can also use it while it's plugged in as well. I have found that this feels exactly the same as using the MacBook Trackpad. It's almost exactly identical. It is gonna be bigger than some of the MacBook Air Trackpads and also some of the pro trackpads, depending on the model that you have. But you're not gonna notice any difference of the feel, the workflow, and the gestures between using the computer or using the trackpad. The Magic Trackpad has great build quality, is super sleek, slim, and lightweight, so you can also pack this on the road with you as well. 
Just note that this larger size of this is gonna take up significant amount of space in your backpack. But this thing is just amazing to use, super smooth and works flawlessly. It has best in class gesture support, and there's really no alternatives to the Magic Trackpad on the market. The closest thing I was able to find is the Logitech Casa Trackpad, which you can't even buy by itself. You actually have to get the whole Casa setup, which is too bad because it is pretty nice, but the Magic Trackpad is bigger and even nicer. I just love all the customization you get with this, the rechargeable battery life, and the seamless integration with your Apple ecosystem, especially when we're talking on Mac. The first con to the Magic Trackpad is the price. It's gonna be pretty expensive when you compare it to most other mouse options. It runs $130 if you get the white one, or it's $150 if you get the black one. Another con with this is the ergonomics may not suit everyone for long sessions. It's just gonna depend on your setup and the way that you're used to using it. Just having your hand down on it can feel a little bit uncomfortable, so I recommend making sure you can get in a comfortable area where you can kind of rest your arm on the side of your desk and elevate your wrist. That's been the best way I've found to use it. The last con of this is switching between devices. It's really not hard to go from one computer to the next with USB-C cables, and you can also use continuity on Mac if you want to drag from one window to another. That works fine, but if you want to go from using it with a Mac to an iPad, then you're going to have to manually go to your Bluetooth settings, unpair it, and pair it again, which is just kind of annoying and feels like they should have some other functionality, kind of like how Logitech has the easy switch technology to pair to multiple devices. So who should buy the Apple Magic Trackpad? First of all, this is going to be great if you've got an iMac, a Mac Mini, a Mac Studio, or a Mac Pro, and you want the MacBook Trackpad experience. It's also gonna be a great option if you use your MacBook in clamshell mode or with an external monitor if you need to have your computer a little bit farther away and to still be able to access all the functionality of this. It's gonna be a great option for iPad as well if you wanna have precise pointer control and trackpad gestures because it kind of bridges that gap between an iPad and a laptop. Finally, it's gonna be great for anyone who prefers trackpads over a mouse for navigation and productivity work. It also works great for creative professionals who utilize gestures heavily in their workflow. So this is essentially the fantastic MacBook trackpad, but in a standalone option. It is expensive, but the value is definitely there if you really like to use all the gestures that are integrated with Mac OS because it's gonna make your whole Mac experience super smooth. This is the best trackpad available on the market. But if you're looking for better ergonomics or more precision, you should probably look into a mouse instead. I do like the Magic Mouse a lot. It's not the most ergonomic option. I also am a big fan of the Logitech MX Master 3S. And I've also recently discovered the Logitech Triathlon as well as a great compact ergonomic mouse. And those are great alternatives to the Magic Trackpad, but I highly recommend the Magic Trackpad for anyone who basically wants the same experience of using a laptop but with a desktop setup. If you're interested in buying the Magic Trackpad, I do have links to buy in the description below. If you got any other questions about this, or if you think I'm wrong about it, leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear them. Like this video, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any upcoming content.